Hello. Thank you so much for joining me as ever. It's really much appreciated. <clears throat> I want to talk about something that, in my usual way, uh, I stumbled across it and thought, ah, I'm writing that down. And it's just because someone, hang on, carries it well, it doesn't mean it's easy. Just because someone carries it well, it doesn't mean it's easy. And I'll begin with a very literal translation of that. I was visiting my family out in Hong Kong and there was a delivery of a, a chest of drawers and I was out with my son and when we got in, um, his wife said, oh, could you carry those up the stairs? Now, the stairs to the upper floor, I suppose, are about 12. And they were gently, not steep stairs, gently <laughs> graded, whatever. Um, so we went to pick it up. And, Ooh, okay. So we removed the drawers. And we were then able, between the two of us to carry it upstairs with a rest at the little landing in between the dog leg in the stairs. Then we took the drawers up. We said, gosh, that was heavy. And my husband's wife burst out laughing. And she said, well, if you'd have seen how it was delivered and up to their apartment, there were about twice as many stairs and they were steep ones. Uh, she said, an old Chinese lady carried it up there on her own with the drawers in situ. And apparently she had a big piece of cloth all round the drawers and over her head. And she carried them up on her back. Yeah, I could not imagine that. But again, that's, it looked easy, but presumably <clears throat> it was far from easy, but that was her job. That's what she had to do. So my daughter-in-law said she, she was actually quite, quite bent. And I'm not surprised if she was having to do that regularly. And then it taking two of us to do it split down. But not translating literally. If somebody makes something look, if somebody carries it, well, I just cannot remember this today. Sorry, the cotton wool is still in situ. If somebody carries it well, it doesn't mean it's easy. So what if we turn that away from <clears throat> an actual carrying? to carrying a burden, carrying something. I mean, I know people who have a lot of illness, but they carry on with a smile. And others, the first sniffle and ugh, I think I sort of come past the sniffle stage <laughs> but my neighbor ne next door who moved miles and miles and miles and miles away to the other side of the world but I miss her and still think of her very fondly her father had been told that he must walk for 45 minutes every day and if somebody told him that he would do it not 44, not 46, it would be 45 minutes. And he would go very, very slowly because he was in his 90s and he was not very firm on his feet. I did suggest he could take his walking stick. Uh, no, that's for old people, I was told. So, okay, right. I said, but that would give you three points of reference on the floor. 
He said, rubbish, I've got three already. Put one foot down, one. Move the other foot in front, two. <laughs> and move the f first foot forward, three. So I don't need a walking stick. <laughs> and he would go and he would walk. As he got older, it, it became more and more difficult. But <laughs> he always had the look of somebody stopping and saying, are you all right? Do you need a lift? And he would be brought home. And my friend's husband used to say, typical. It was always a nice young lady in a nice car. He said, if that had been me, <laughs> it would be an old bloke in a tractor or something. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> but some of us, pianists, musicians of any ilk, they make that look so easy. And yet, when you think of the hours and hours and hours of practice that's gone into getting each piece of music spot on. The same with, with dance. The same with so many things. <clears throat> and I, I wonder about surgeons. I, I must ask my cousin's husband. How do they first practice? I suppose I've answered my own question to myself now. Surgical procedures before they're allowed on living people. And the thought of living people, thought, yeah, obviously it must be people who have donated their bodies to science when they've died. Um, yeah. I don't know how I've got myself down that road. I had no intention of going there. Hey-ho. So it has to become easy for them, but they have to be prepared for things that are unexpected because the human body is a flipping complicated organism and things can go wrong. But the same with flying driving a train, driving a car, driving a lorry. You've got the rudiments and you might think it's easy and you might get lulled into a sense of, uh, I'm okay with this. But then if something goes wrong, if you've not had practice, if you don't know really what you're doing, it can be difficult. So thinking about that Chinese lady and carrying her heavy weight. If you've got any heavy weights around, put them down for a bit, have a cuppa, have a brew. <sighs> Take a breath and then carry on. That's my excuse. I haven't got any heavy lifting to do, but I've been talking, so I will go and have a brew. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Look after yourself and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.